So here is the model of the kind of assignment I'd like you to do for this lab. It's an outdoor sort of field experience kind of a lab. You can see that the rocks I collected in the first video I brought over to this little table and I have a little wash basin to help me identify the rock as well. So let's take an example here. If I pull out this piece of rhyolite that I left you with in the last video, let's say I uh, rinse it out a little bit, shake it up and kind of look, see how it comes out with that purple and beigey kind of looking microcrystalline structure. I know that this is rhyolite. So I'm going to go ahead and find a compartment and place it in there. And you will see then that I have an index card ready where I labeled it rhyolite. I will rip that off and tape it into that compartment just as you have seen me do with uh, a piece of granite or the green microcrystalline rock that looks like basalt but really is andesite. And then I have a sample of basalt down in there as well. And you can see that I'm just kind of making a collection out of uh, 12 stones that are different from each other. Let's go back to my collection here and you'll see that I have kind of a cream lion skin colored rock. I'd have to test this in acid. Uh, it could be a silt stone, but if it fizzes in acid like vinegar, it's definitely limestone. I'm pretty sure that this one's limestone. So you can see that I have it labeled on my sheet. I'll cut that out and I'll probably place it in another container. Here I have uh, another stone that I thought was unique. I'm going to rinse it out and wash it. And I'm going to see what, oh, that's really another piece of granite. So I can just go ahead and throw it into my granite pile if I want to or throw it out as an example. Now I have a really nice unique rock right here that has some banding in it. If I wash it up a little bit I can see it just a little bit better. You can kind of see the banding in it. You can tell there was heat and pressure that squeezed and made those bandings. Makes the rock a little more dense. This is a metamorphic rock that would be called um, nice. It's a very nice, very nice rock. I have another sample of nice that's got a lot of crystals that are just kind of jammed in right there so I would probably put this in the category uh, as a nisic rock. So one of the great sayings in earth science is this little saying that you might have read already. A nice rock. Have a nice day. Don't take it for granted because gr nice was once granite but with heat and pressure in the earth structure has squeezed those crystals together to make a metamorphic rock called nice. So everybody have a nice day. Don't take it for granite.